uh, Tuesday, January 17th, four day week. Um, why do people get cavities? Lead in discussion about, of course, bacteria. Uh, continuing our bacteria as one of our pathogens, but also focusing on the good parts. Uh, we'll talk quite a bit about bacteria in our health today. We go through, uh, you know, acne, you know, pimples, blackheads, that sort of stuff. Uh, we talk about, uh, you know, body odor and bad breath and, and gum disease and cavities and all things related to bacteria. And then we move into a serious topic uh, with the SciShow, and that's antibacterial resistance or antibiotic resistance, which is becoming a significant problem. So we want to make sure we're informed. And that's our Tuesday. Wednesday, January 18th, opening question, what is a debate? And apparently some of you in Challenge Language Arts are working on this anyway, so it's not a conspiracy, just a coincidence, uh, wanting to know what you know about debates and how they're built on arguments and information, because uh, you're going to kind of prepare for a debate. We won't actually conduct the debate, and uh, we'll get back to it in a minute. Um, antibiotic resistance videos, uh, finishing up the SciShow if we didn't finish it in class yesterday. Also, uh, going using the TED-Ed antibiotic resistance, it kind of explains the process a little bit more instead of all the effects like we saw in the SciShow episode. Back to the tank, uh, focusing on the change that's been happening and letting you in on the you know bacteria-fungus battle that's been going on for millions of years. And as a result, uh, we have things like antibiotics, which are produced by some fungus, and we also have both bacteria and fungus producing chemicals that are as toxic as any chemicals we know uh, that are produced by any life forms. So this battle of chemical warfare is uh, quite an interesting thing to look at. Uh, and then you'll get some time to look at your choice of one of the three Discovery News videos that are there on Moodle in the bacteria section and prepare some pro and con uh, debate arguments uh, on those topics. And then we'll share out as a class and kind of see what we're finding. And that is our, um, so that's our Wednesday. And Thursday, January 19th, uh, getting back to the debate. Uh, it's formally there on Google Classroom is number 17. I want to get you started back where you left off yesterday. Not all classes got to the same point. Some barely got started. Uh, and we're finding that this process is taking a little longer than I anticipated. So uh, you'll get much of the period. Uh, you'll get about 35 minutes to watch your videos again, pull in your pro and con debates. Then we just split up into three table groups, depending on which topic you chose. And we'll share out the pro and con debates. And then uh, you know, as a class, kind of come to a consensus about you know, what we think about you know, hand sanitizer, antibacterial soaps, and showering, and you know, what that information might do to your choices. And then we'll share out the CDC antibiotic resistance uh, disease list and kind of see how this is applying to us around the world. And that's our Thursday. All right, Friday, January 20th. Uh, first heads up, I'm going to be out uh, Monday the 23rd, uh, and then I'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, if I was going to take a shower with hot water, antibacterial soap, finish up with some hand sanitizer, what are your thoughts? Uh, just ask that question to prime your brain based on yesterday's debates and kind of see how some of that stuff is sinking in and what choices you might make. Uh, lesson plan. I, we're going to take one of the uh, science misconceptions quizzes. It looks like we're going to start taking them about every three to four weeks so we can track growth over time. Uh, that'll take 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, then we're back to the CDC uh, resistance list. And what we do is we go through those 18 uh, uh, diseases and uh, calculate how many annual deaths are produced by those diseases and then in turn compare it to how many automobile accident deaths there are and you know f some surprising insights as to why we aren't promoting this idea a little bit more we always talk about seat belts and driving safety and, and not driving under the influence to save lives well why is it that we don't see commercials and topics about antibiotic resistance which actually is now killing more than automobile accidents uh, then we submit number 17 work from yesterday in classroom and we're going to review and submit the bacteria 321 uh, document that we you know it's been a while since we've come back to it but now that we're at the end of the unit we should have it filled in uh, and that wraps up our week